So there's an 11 year old Australian girl who's thinking of retiring and I'm not even kidding This little girl is clearly winning at life while most of us are losing I remember when I was 11 thinking a million pounds was an unachievable sum It was for movie stars, drug dealers, Michael Jackson and those lucky enough to win the lottery <laughs> Fast forward to now and a net worth of a million pounds or a million dollars It doesn't seem like that much anymore One million dollars I mean if you think the average Average home in London is 500,000 pounds or 600,000 US dollars. You're pretty much more than halfway there just by owning a house. Natixis recently conducted a survey in 2022 and the results were very staggering. They claimed that more than one third of millionaires have responded that retiring comfortably would be nothing short of a miracle. In essence showing that even millionaires are underprepared. These are folks that have already scaled that financial summit and acquired a 1 million US dollar net worth. A feat that many Americans can only dream of. And these people are concerned that they don't have enough money for their retirement. So what does this mean for the rest of us and those people who are not yet millionaires? The fear has been compounded year by year. We've had surging inflation and negative returns on investments which have whittled down the purchasing power of even retirement savings. And let's be real, it's harder than ever to invest into retirement. Anxious workers are recalibrating their thoughts on how much cash they actually have to invest in retirement and moreover how much they actually need to retire comfortably. As an example, a recent Bloomberg MLIV Pulse study reported that 70% of surveyed investors said that they would need between 3 million and 5 million US dollars to retire. That staggering statistic just shows how much folks' perspective of retirement have altered over the past few years. And the worst thing of all, that's today's money. Imagine how big this figure will be in the future with inflation just seemingly not to go away. Imagine what this figure will be when you come to retire. Despite even acknowledging there is a necessity for people to save more and more and more people are finding it more challenging to stash cash away for a rainy day or even let alone to invest in a retirement plan. Another recent report from the Economic Policy Institute revealed that the average family in the United States has only saved a mere 5,000 US dollars for retirement. Now to put that clear, if you go on the three to five million US dollars from that Bloomberg survey, let's use the three million lower benchmark. That means the average family has only saved 0.16% of the three million lower benchmark required. And even the people who have prepared for retirement in the past are panicking. Let's say you've saved that one million US dollars. You'd be starting off with an annual revenue of 40,000 US dollars in annual income to live on. But if then you followed this 4% rule and added on inflation thereafter, which of course you have to, then you're gonna be screwed pretty quickly. Bearing in mind the average rate of inflation for a 30 year period in the UK is over 5%. This fiscal strain on stretching your pension fund for 20 or 30 years into retirement is just impossible. Your 40k a year in 30 years time would need to be the equivalent of 129,000 pounds by 2052. But if you did live to that massive old retirement age, which a lot of people watching this video will, you'd only still have 40k. In essence, your buying power in old age will be one third less. So that nice car you wanted at the end of your life, well, that just dwindled away. To keep up with the 4% rule, it will have you making aggressive investments just to keep paying with inflation. And if you continue making aggressive investment after aggressive investment with your 1 million US dollars, eventually you'll end up like this guy. Godsell said that plenty of Americans are finding themselves reshaping their retirement blueprint by cultivating new ways and new tactics of creating new cash flows. But ask yourself this, if every retiree is on the side hustle, surely it won't be a retirement. In fact, it'll just be a older version of a workforce with everyone in that generation on a side hustle. Well, what color is your baguette? The question of how much you need to save for retirement is a very complicated issue. There's no actual number that goes across the board like the old million dollar rule. A report recently surveyed 
cited by Bloomberg said that the amount every investor needs is basically variant on everybody's individual circumstances. As example, your geographical location. The cost of living and retiring in New York City will hardly be comparable to a small town in the middle of Mexico. National taxes on pensions all enter the equation. Some states in America don't tax your funds at all, while others do. But nevertheless, one's hometown is only just one aspect on your retirement equation. Albeit, it is a crucial one. Spending habits that range from grocery and utility bills, entertainment, medical expenses, travel, pet care, hobbies, even transportation will significantly differ from person to person. So what is the annual tab for all of this? What is your projected income you personally desire into retirement? Remember when you do a calculation on retirement to factor in that you might have corporate pension, social security, maybe some cash or inheritance stashed away somewhere. But any of them factors really shouldn't be solely relied upon. Taxes change, pensions go bust, there's many different things that can affect this in the future. It is worth crunching all the numbers with all the variables included and find out what your average estimation will be. All of these figures and assumptions will shift in a matter of years, months, or even in days. And I'm not joking when I say, as somebody who worked with pension and retirement planning, I regularly do my own retirement calculation several times a year. I do this to make sure that I'm still moving close to my goals and not further away with things like inflation or a falling market. And it really does demand a personalized approach to best suit your needs. It's an ever-changing calculation. Maybe for you, retirement isn't complete with a monthly trip to Gucci. Or on the other hand, perhaps you want to live in a woodland somewhere hunting rabbits. And if that is your retirement plan, maybe you should concentrate on your bow and arrow skills rather than investing into a 401k. But if living like a hobbit isn't for you, then you could beef up your savings with a part-time job, open a small business, or even just do Uber. Uber Eats. Let me tell you, it's going to be easier now to generate free cash flow at your age now than it will be in 30 years time. Although younger generations tend to possess a much more arrogant outlook on retirement and that they'd rather focus more time on Tinder, it would make sense if you could educate the younger generation below you and share your experiences and worries about the current pension problem. Whether or not you've done good or bad yourself, or maybe down the middle, it's important to pass these lessons on. Natixis also had another survey which discovered that while millennials still maintain that they'll be able to retire by 60, the majority of baby boomers who are already entering retirement age still anticipate retiring at 65. My generation, the millennials, need to start adjusting to the idea that we're gonna be working into our 70s. That's going to happen for the majority of them. Pension, retirement age, ages are going to increase as life expectancy does too. The fast changes that are happening to the economy make securing a stable retirement appear to be as impossible as keeping Courtney Love as a girlfriend. But don't panic, there is a solution at hand. It's a very easy one. Save, save, and save. Open an investing account right now after watching this video. Debit $100 right now into an ETF like the VU, the VT, or something else that you want to track. Set up a monthly direct debit on one of the biggest holdings on the planet and just commit more than what you're currently doing. And a shameless plug, I use eToro. There's a link for it down on the pinned comment. Granted, it's easier said than done to just throw $100 into your retirement, particularly when life is throwing hurdles at you like it is now. But these sacrifices made to day will reward you tomorrow. And if you do not have a hundred dollars to start with right now, you need to figure out why that is and how you fix that solution too. And if you want me to kick you while you're down, while you're probably worried about your pension and your future, just listen to what Pixie Curtis did. This is an 11 year old Australian girl who decided to retire already. She hit a monthly income stream of 133,000 US dollars a month. And yeah, you heard that figure right. This pint sized business kid claims she intends to spend her golden years writing out book reports and practicing long division as she enters into high school. So yes, you have less saved for your retirement than an 11-year-old girl. So what really is your excuse not to invest right now?